Plus Ultra. What is up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Oraculous, and guess who is with me today? That's right, and she's here. We're going to open up the Figure Complex Amazing Yamaguchi, powered by Revel Tech, My Hero Academia, Izuka Midoriya, series number 01818. Whoa! Gosh! Anime and their long names. <laughs> Man, it's kind of like uh, something Super Fortress Macross. That's the long name. But anyway, just like that, we're going to be opening this figure. We're going to look at paint detail, articulation, and scale, and accessories. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, when it comes to amazing Yamaguchi figures, I don't own a single one. <laughs> this is going to be my first one. Now, I have been reviewing the bootlegs. I kept some, gave some away, those are okay, but this is my first one. And at first, when I first saw this figure, I was like, oh no, is it going to use the same joint system? But it looks like it's going to be a little bit different, and we're going to open it up, and we're going to see if it is worth the money. And if you're looking for this one, I believe I only have one other piece. You can get him where? That's right, you can go to www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Now, take us to Top Camp. Let's see what we're dealing with here. You can get this imported. I think he's available in most import shops like HLJ, Ami Ami, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so, ooh, look at this, hun. Look at this. Look at that. Look is that at a back this? Hook? No, well, I think it can be, but this is the ooh, that's that's nice. That is beautiful. And of course, we have all the accessories and whatnot. And let's open this guy up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's let's see if this is worth the wait. A lot of people are saying this could possibly be the best Deku figure. I don't know. Let's find out. Janelle, let's take us to the front. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's take off all this plastic before we move on. How much was this guy? This guy, if you bought him online, shipped for the fastest shipping. You're looking at almost a hundred bucks. Wow. Eee, yeah. All right, but is it worth it? And I have to say, the face. Yes, uh, the face. I honestly thought we were gonna deal with a younger Deku, but this is him in the current season, I believe. Janelle, do you agree? So this is Deku Ooh, Season 1 Figma. I was going to say, like, honestly. <laughs> What's up? I couldn't tell his age right away, but yeah, he looks a lot yeah, older. Yeah, he looks a lot older. He looks more matured. Also, this is his latest suit, as you can tell from the legs. He has those uh, metal legs. We also have the white arm coverings. Uh, I believe, does he have that? No, he. I don't think he has the, har the, the hand protector things. I don't think he does yet. Uh, so this is like beginning Season 4. Deku, I believe. Someone correct me down in chat. Janelle, can you look out in chat and tell me if I'm correct? Yeah, uh, yeah I think this is the season four, beginning of season four, Deku. Uh, he's missing the the, uh, the little hand. What is it called? I honestly forgot. Someone tell me down in chat. But so far, I'd have to say the face does look pretty good. The hair could be a little bit bigger, but nonetheless, I think it's it's nice. I really like it. Yeah, I, I really like shading. it. The shading is nice. You have the uh, black highlights on the bottom, and then it goes into a gradient of green all the way to the top. The face definitely looks good, I have to say. Uh, I honestly thought it was going to be a little off, but now that I see it up close, I have to say it's good. There's nothing really wrong with it, as I thought. Let's look at the suit. Of course, we have to deal with that Deku green. Love that Deku green. It looks really nice. And the mask right there. Uh, the red belt looks really nice. And the, yeah, looks really good. I have to say, it even has a really nice matte finish. And let's look at the shoes. Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. The shoes look really nice. Look at these kicks right here. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> wow. Pretty well detailed. Yeah, it's very detailed. So you're getting what you pay what you pay for. You're getting a really nice premium figure. And I have to say, the articulation points aren't as annoying as I thought they would be. So you can get the the kicks, full cowling kicks, right there. This is one pose that I was hoping you can do and you can do it really nice. But before we get into that, let's look into articulation and scale. Okay, so let's see how tall this guy's standing. So this should be what, what is he in second year UA? Third year, second, I think it's second. second. I think it's second. Yeah, so let's see how tall he's yet. standing. We're looking at almost six inches, six 
uh, five and a half inches right there, maybe six and three quarters almost. So this is first appearance Deku right there. Let's see if we can get this camera down a little bit. And you can, whoa, the height difference is insane. What the heck? Is this correct? Boys do grow dramatically. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Teenagers, so it makes sense. And I notice more and more in this season that we've been watching that he seems bulkier. Like yeah. he's filling out in his upper body and his thighs. Like he's becoming a lot more like a man. Thick yeah. With muscle. So here we go. Uh, here is the real deal Figma Bakugo. So this is kind of first appearance Bakugo as well, and he's taller. Bakugo, I believe, is taller in the current season. So this is a younger Bakugo. So I guess that makes sense, right? Yeah. Anime Heroes Deku, which honestly I loved, especially for the $20 price point. And I really wanted to look at their faces here. And yeah, I got to say, these two faces look really good. But let's see how tall they stand together. And yeah, still, the amazing Yamaguchi is still bigger, taller. Uh, let's get an SH Figure Arts in here, sure. We're dealing with Ultra Instinct Goku. So he's taller. And of course, All Might! <laughs> You're growing, Midoriya! <laughs> All Might's off screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the main question that I got. Articulation. Let's get into it. Up and down here at the toe, which is really nice. Ooh, really smooth, too. We got a... What is that? Ankle swivel? Really nice. And so there's three articulation points. One at the ankle, ankle swivel, and a toe. We got a... That looks to be a single jointed knee. We have that ball joint with somewhat of a thigh swivel here on the upper thigh. And the kicks are nice. Look at these kicks, hon. Wow. Let's look at these kicks. This that is really... Like that would yeah, come down exactly, exactly right. Like that's anime accurate yeah, right there. I have to say right here. It's mostly, I really was hoping he can get those kicks down. Excellent ab crunch. We have shoulder joint right there. Bicep swivel, one here at the elbow. And we have one here at the wrist. The neck looks like it's really long. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I don't know why they do that. That's because the way it's designed back here. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it was supposed to be that way. I think it was supposed to be like this where the head covers the back joint of the neck. So it could be like that. I don't know why they decided to make that a little bit taller. I guess it's for different angles. I, I honestly don't see the benefit on why they would make the joint like that, like pull it up like that. I just think that looks really weird. Yeah, it does. I honestly don't know why that that's a positive, but you know, I guess whatever. Put it, the put more, it back. yeah. <laughs> so there we have it. Let's get some poses in. Of course, we got the shore you can test. We got sidekick. We got, oh. <laughs> Don't worry, we're good. We got side kick, we got front kick, we got a rising knee. Let's get some full cowling kicks right here. So it's all about trying to get the proper pose, and this is one that you have to have, something like this. Let's see, let's look at the box. Is there any other pose that we need? Uh, I think we want to do the one where he flicks. Can he even get that due to the butterfly joints? Yes, you can. You can get something like that. So when you put the other hands, we're going to see if that works. So I have to say he's super articulated. You can get all the poses that you want out of a Deku. Yeah, I have to say this is one of the best Dekus. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say it right here. This is easily one of the best Dekus. It's, this figure surprised me. I honestly didn't think it would be that good because of the, the way that Amazing Yamaguchi does their joint system, which is usually at an angle. And this one looks good, I have to say. I'm I'm enjoying it. Janelle, are you enjoying this? This is my favorite. This, yeah, so seriously. Far. This is yeah, really nice. Honest. And it gets better. Janelle, show us what we're dealing with up here. Wow. So we get the full cowling um, effect pieces right here. Uh, we get different eyes. Get the different hands. We even get his book <laughs> where he's all like writing stuff. That's pretty rad. <laughs> Uh, you get a front piece for the hair for, for the full cowling effect, and we get two extra faces. And also, the eyes are swappable. Oh. Yeah, that's really nice. Like, is it, you can move? Yeah, so what looking? you can do, you can move some of the eyes, because there's a tool right here. 
But mostly what you can do is you can remove the the eye plates is what I'm going to call them. And you can replace them with these eye plates. So you can get a whole bunch of different like poses cool. with him. So let's look at the front front cam right now. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I think as much as I'd love to just show off everything, I don't want to waste your time. So we're going to put all that. We're going to fully outfit him probably at the end of the video during the showcase. So a few things I want to look at is the front face or front hair and all the face plates. If I can even take this out. Wow, that is really tight. So we're going to remove this face plate. I'm going to look at a more like happier Deku face right here. And you know what? We're going to put this one on. I'm pretty excited about this one. And there you have it. I don't know when he's ever happy to, <laughs> when he's about to go full cowling, but so there you have it. That looks really nice. Uh, let's look at this other one. Ooh, this one just makes more sense right here. So here we have his really angry, grinning, grinning face. And there you have it right there. You know what? I'm kind of sad they didn't have, like, how come they don't have a hooded head? I mean, they included the hood right there, but they don't, they don't have it where he's hooded. Well, he, most of the time he isn't hooded anyway, so. So there you have it. Ooh, let's look at that. Yes, I cannot help but love this. This is art right here. Doesn't that look so cool? Uh, I definitely want to get the flick hand in. Let's get this one in. That wasn't too bad. Pow, right there. So he's about to. Give you a burst of air right there. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, okay, let's. I guess we can kind of get the the book. Sure. Let's see how he looks when he's holding the book. Also, you get a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna look as much as I can. I just don't want to drag this this part out. You know what I mean? Let's get. Yeah, because we could be here a while. Yeah, we could that. be here a very long and time. We're already at the forty-minute mark. Babe. Well, we're on the forty-minute mark because we did uh, we did uh, Goku already. Mm -hmm. So there, you can have him hold that. He has a pen in there too. Oh, he does. By the eyes, I think. Okay, so I thought that was the little eye mover, but yeah, that is indeed the pen. So you can have it. And actually, he does come with a holder too, of some sort. So that's him holding it. Kinda. I guess you gotta really position it. But like I said, we're gonna look at that at the end of the video. What I really want to look at right now is this. Okay, I gotta be careful here so I don't ruin the backdrop because I really like the way that one looks. Lots of tape. My goodness, look at this. I, look at how much tape they put there. <laughs> They're like, we have to make sure that this is not gonna break in shipment. Oh. So let's open this yeah, guy up. Still, like, risk yeah, there's up a the lot. <laughs> get a stand. Again, we'll look at this at the end of the video. And most importantly, Ooh. this is the one I wanted to look at Ooh. before we end the video. Smash! <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. And oh, look at this. So I oh. guess this is a, a like little. You know, when he's, you can put something there, you can Photoshop that in. That's pretty nice. Or we could probably dry erase it on. So someone said there, oh uh, yeah, there are other hands specifically for the book. Yeah, you're right. I totally messed that one up. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is the proper hand right here. Let me see if I can grab that for you guys. Yeah, I totally messed up on that one. Let's see it with the proper hand. And again, he's not. Is he left-handed when he... Re yeah, I guess so. There you have it. He's uh, looking at his notes before he fights. Again. Are you sure I'm gonna... that's not the pen hand? No, it's right. It's the correct... The other one's the pen hand. Oh. See? Because it's more... He's a right-handed writer. I know that for sure. So if you look here, this is the pen hand. Okay. Again, we're oh, going to look okay. at that in the showcase. Right now, I just want to get this book on. And then we can come up with a... Conclusion. Look at that. That's really nice. <laughs> Janelle, tell me. Let's come up with a conclusion right now. Best Deku. Oh, yeah. Easily. Easy. This is an easy win. 
can tell I have expensive taste today, you guys. Yeah. I, if, I really if, like this. If you want if you wanna um spend the 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 what is it, almost a hundred dollars for this figure, you're getting the best Deku. You're gonna get your money's worth, especially since it comes with all the effect pieces, the stand, the background, the smash, the hands, the book, the eyes. I mean, wow. This is really a good set. Easily the best Deku for the price. Uh, yeah, I'd say he's highly recommended. Hopefully we can get more at dstartoys.com. And I think that's it for today. Janelle, do you have anything else you want to say about this figure? No, I just really like this one. I'm yeah, sorry. he comes with so much. Explain. This one looks the most like Deku out of all the other Dekus we've looked at. Yeah. Like, to be honest, every time we pull out the other Dekus out of the box, they look... Let's Cheap stand them. Let's stand them next to to each other. Like they're about to fall apart. They look a little too gawky, and the way they fit their limbs together, it just doesn't look right. Figma, anime heroes, amazing Yamaguchi. Now, I think all three of these Deku's are pretty darn good. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm sorry for all the people who bought the McFarlane one. <sighs> I am not buying that figure. I know there's some people that want me to review it. I will not buy and review that figure. I think it looks awful. That's just my opinion, okay? Respect my opinion. All right, guys. I think that's all. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.